proclamation two. We will replace presentations with conversations. What does this mean to me? Well, is to move out of the position of the audition. We will have conversations about what the client wants and not give away our thinking for free. This will eliminate the big reveal, put us more in a position of the practitioner and not the performer. What does this all mean? Essentially, if you're out there doing presentations and it's a one-way conversation, you're just showing the slide, hey, look at these charts. Oh, look at these great ideas I have. And you're just giving up all your ideas, but you don't really know what's going on yet on the project. So it's all based on assumptions and you're talking at your audience. You're kind of got this performance and you're jazzing things up to keep people interested. Instead, just have these one-on-one conversations by asking them questions, exactly what it is that they want and that they need. Imagine if you're doing market research and you've got a group of people and you're just showing them a slide presentation. Are you really getting any information out of them? You might just get a few heads and nods and you're like, oh, that's great. You ask them a question like, oh, does this work for you? And they just go, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's not really good information versus having one-on-ones with people or one-on-many, like maybe a small team, like all the stakeholders, and you're having an engaging discussion and talking about obstacles and problems and needs and what is it that they want. Then you get rid of the entire presentation process and it puts you in the position of the practitioner, meaning like a doctor or a lawyer. Before we do any surgeries, whatever it may be, before we go to court, let's talk about your situation and what's really going on so we can figure out if there's even something to move forward with. That's what replacing presentations to conversations means to me. Now, how should I use this? Um, I put here, I will use conversations as a tool to determine if there is a fit between the client and I, to determine if there's a need for my expertise. As I mentioned before, this is the whole point of the conversation. First, I need to understand your problem. We just talk it out like, okay, I'm listening, I'm listening. Oh, okay. uh Uh-huh. That's great. Tell me more about that. And I'm thinking in my head, uh, can I even solve this? And if I can't, who do I know who can't? We're also looking for chemistry. Do I even like you? Is there a fit between us? Can we, do we vibe together? Because if we're not vibing, but I can still solve your problem, I'm probably going to pass on this and send you to someone else who I think might be better suited for your vibe. And that's more personal depending on yourself and how, what kind of people you want to work with. When should I use this? I put, I will use this at the beginning of every engagement. Use this on every single call. Anytime you're meeting a new client, every time you're meeting a new engagement and discovery, you should always be like this at the very beginning. You're not there to present ideas for possible solutions if you don't even understand the problem yet. You're just there to have a conversation like, hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Build up some rapport, have an understanding and background idea of who they are, what their business is about, why they're pursuing this particular direction to solve this problem. Just understand. It's all about understanding and acknowledging them. Why should I use this? Uh, I will use this to create a collaborative relationship. We're here to work together. It's a partnership. We're doing this together. I am listening to them and their problems to recognize whether or not I can help you. And if I can't, I can point you in the right direction of someone who can. This is a great quote. Our mission is to position. Our objective is to determine fit. We always want to position ourselves as the expert, but we also need to make sure that we have chemistry together. Just because I can position myself in a place to solve your problem doesn't mean I'm going to if we're just not vibing. And there's another one here. How we sell shapes what we sell, right? If we're going to be really aggressive and pushy, then it's going to degrade what we're selling. That concludes proclamation two. Will you let me know what was valuable for you in the comments below?